Welcome back to the pen and inkwell. So if you're watching this now and you've already seen some of the other videos, this is one of three videos that I'm making looking at different noodlers pens that have been loaned to me. I've done one video already looking at the Ahab, now we're going to be looking at another model, the Nib Creeper. This is sort of very much at the beginning and the starter point of these pens. It retails over here in the UK just for £12.50 and the variety that it gives you is astronomical. I think over here this is available in 24 different finishes that I've seen available at Pure Pens. I've got two of them here that I'm going to be looking at. A clear demonstrator model and a really pretty patterned finish that's on these that's still got a bit of, um, you'll still see through it a little bit. I'm not sure what the word is I'm looking for then. These are piston filler pens. So piston filler pen, £12.50, flex nib. Those three words or those three things don't usually go together that well. When you're looking at flex nibs, you're looking at higher prices. When you're looking at piston filler pens, they tend to be in higher prices as well. So, but this combines all three of them. I'm going to be having a look and see, let you know what I think about these. Um, it is a cold winter blustery day here in the UK, down here in South Wales. So we're wrapped up, but what better way to have a look at some pens. Join me in a second while I'll turn this video around and we'll have a look in more detail. Welcome then. back. So I'm going to have a quick have a look at these. That's awful English, isn't it? I'm going to look quickly at this Nib Creeper. I've got two different versions here to just have a quick look at. But as I say, I'm going to do this fairly quickly because there are three in this series and essentially I just want to give you an overview on how these look so that you need to play with them yourself to get a really true feeling of it. But I'm hoping to be able to help you. Any more questions though, please do feel free to ask and I'll do my utmost to answer them correctly or give you some help or even point you in the right direction because there are people that are far more expert than me at this. So here we are. So all the noodlers pens that we purchase over here come in this little box. It's very nicely decorated, beautiful artwork on here. Um, I think it does what it does essentially. It's nice packaging, it's inexpensive packaging, it allows better use and, be and the money that we're paying for this to be spent on the pen itself. So here we are, I've got two. This is Midas Pearl, the one I'm going to be looking at that I've got inked up. And you see, it does have this transparency to it still, but it also has this beautiful golden brown with these sort of almost sort of beige and grey tones to it. It's got these, let's see if you, the camera will pick these up. You can see where the translucent parts are. See this, the light coming through there. That's because there's almost this demonstrator sort of view, ink view window part of it here. Because this is a piston fill pen. So this has to be used with bottled ink. It is a piston fill pen. So this is a demonstrator version of it, a green demonstrator version of it see right through this as you do and then you can see there if I this just twists and moves that plunger down there move it back up and it draws the ink into this pen they all work the same way this model the nib creeper I'm going to move this one out of the way because this is the one we're going to be looking at so let's give you some stats this is £12.50 to purchase here in the UK, available at purepens.co.uk. It's a very lightweight pen and it's quite a small pen. It's 12 grams with the cap on and with the ink in there. It's 8 grams without the cap. Width-wise, it's 10 millimetres here. It's not very big at all. And going down, narrowing down to 8 millimetres. Oh, sorry, I lost the pen then while I was looking at my notes. 8 millimetres at the section. Length, it's 132 millimetres long. It's a narrow pen, not particularly short, but it is narrow. 132 millimetres, 120 millimetres without the cap, and 137 millimetres posted. So as I've said before, piston filler, huge choice of finishes and colours available. 24 I've seen. They're Possibly could be more, but I've seen 24 of them. So if we have a look, the finish goes right the way through the cap, the clip, functional clip, noodler's ink, down the clip here, ink view window, cut out in sort of slots right the way around here so you can see through, 
and then it goes the finish goes right the way through then to the almost the barrel end here which also acts as the twist for the piston fill twist cap always my preference always say that stainless steel nib stainless steel nib tipped with a hard platinum group metal alloy it's a great nib it has this chrome band around the top here next to the nib it is a narrow pen it can be posted and can be posted quite nicely this is actually a pen that I probably would choose to post give it a little bit more give it something a little more to it I suppose make it a little more substantial I don't think there's really an awful lot more to say about it it's a lovely little pen and for the price of it it gives you a bit of um, the ability to actually play around with it the section or the the um, what's the word I'm looking for here the feed in it is pressure fixed so you can just you can pull that out just sort of carefully and pull it out I'm not going to do it in this because it's full of ink but if you pull at the nib here it will come out and then you can adjust the feed to adjust the flow to your liking so if you're doing particular artwork and you want the ink to be flowing quicker you need it to catch up you need it to be fast flowing you can do that if you want to slow it down to so say you you can mess about with these you know and they're the sort of price really but you could afford to have a couple of these with different inks and then if you're doing artwork or doing some calligraphy and starting out on you know on some writing like that I'm going to leave it at that for now. I'm going to do a writing sample so you'll see what the flex nib does and the variety of, of that flex nib. And I'll join you very shortly. So here's the writing sample. So this is Noodler's Nib Creeper. This colour is, or this finish, sorry, is called Midas Pearl. And this ink is Pelican Edelstein Amethyst. One of my favourite pen inks as far as shading is concerned and obviously works really well with a flex pen. So this is what we do. So once again if you saw my other video this is normal writing. I would say if you're just using this as a normal writing pen that it probably gives you a line that is somewhere between, uh, probably about a fine, maybe a fine, you know, a, a slightly broader fine nib. And then, so we've got flex now. So that gives you quite a bit of line variation. And again, this pen and ink combination, the flow is good on this ink. And it's allowing flex without too much pressure on there at all. I'll go in closer there so you can see that. I've really enjoyed playing with it a little bit. I'm going to play with it a bit more. So this, as I say, there's not much else to say about this pen really. It really does allow you to play it's wet as you can see it's going to take some time to dry um, this is Roger paper which does take you know generally takes a little longer to dry but because of the amount of ink that we're expelling onto this page it's going to take a little while to dry for you but look at that ink as well beautiful color ink so any questions please ask me please leave a comment below please subscribe to my channel or our channel sorry um obviously i have to include karis with this she you haven't seen her yet in front of the camera i'm really hoping to get her in front of the camera very shortly um and then any requests please let me know and again any questions please let me know please like the video and i'll be back with you very shortly with the next one bye